Hello, my name is Jan LaFave and I am on staff here at Northwest Christian Church, Newburgh Campus, overseeing women's community, primetime ministry, and support of office administration. I would like to share today some thoughts about what it means to be faithful. We often ask our brothers and sisters to pray for us to be faithful, but yet what does that truly mean? Do we expect the Lord to answer our prayer, to make us completely and unabashedly faithful at all times and through all circumstances? Do we call to Him immediately when we experience disaster, tragedy, disappointment, suffering, or sinful events in and around us? I say yes, I say maybe, I say possibly, I say probably not, I say no, I say, well eventually I do say something with a fair amount of certainty. Our humanity comes into play almost every time. We want to think we will call upon the Lord to bring us through that particular situation, but we do that? How can we do that? I have a friend who suffered through an extremely serious medical procedure a few years ago. He is one of the most faithful, deep thinking, godly pastors I know. But when he was at his lowest, both physically and spiritually, here is what he experienced. It started reasonably well. I experienced effects from the chemo and the treatment approach that I wasn't prepared for, but I kept focused and constantly asked the Lord to let me be faithful. Then I entered the darkness. I have little memory of this time. Most of what I do remember is dark. I lost the ability to distinguish reality from delusion or hallucination, and my ability to think clearly, even enough to remember to ask the Lord for help, was gone. So what does faithfulness look like when you are literally terrified? Not of death, not of pain, but of the undefined and nebulous terror that has been embedded in my emotions and my mind. And how do I encourage others when I am searching for faithfulness? Here are some things to remember that are so simple we tend to forget them or assume they are happening. Admit to yourself and to God that you aren't strong enough and you need Him. Call out to the Lord, out loud if need be, and tell Him how much you need Him. If you don't understand what being faithful looks like and what you are going through, ask Him. As He reveals the answer to you, do what He says. Whatever He says with or without understanding the why and knowing that in the end, He will produce in us righteousness and peace. Over the last 10 years, since the most terrifying experience in my life, I have come to terms that I did not reach out to the Lord as I wished I had had. I had regrets that I thought only of myself while I watched others reach out to Him in prayer and reciting scripture. But over time, a friend helped me see that I remained faithful and continued to serve the Lord with my heart. He, who lived daily with the after effects of this natural disaster, told me, you came back and that means everything. Since then, I have determined to continually reach out to the Lord in everyday life and in everyday love of others. A few years ago, I went through a time of disappointment and a bit of depression. I was trying to reach out to God in a somewhat desperate fashion, but I was so hurt that I experienced a bit of my own darkness. My pain caused me to search for help in those around me. I found it in the form of messengers who gave me hope and a tangible hand up to make it possible for me to start moving forward again. And now in this time of history we find ourselves in, I now have great opportunities in front of me almost every day. My life years ago seemed stressful and full of drama. I totally didn't recognize it at the time, but now I find joy in loving on people, finding solutions to obstacles and helping friends feel loved and important. I praise God daily for what He has brought me through, the opportunities of service I have in my occupation, during this season of COVID and all that we see around us every day, I want to be truly faithful because He will always honor that desire. I'd like to finish with some sweet scripture and lyrics to a song that I hope will be meaningful to you. 1 Samuel 12, 24, but be sure to fear the Lord and serve Him faithfully with all your heart. Consider what great things He has done for you. Psalm 34, Sing the praises of the Lord. You, His faithful people, praise His holy name. Psalm 85, 11. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth and righteousness looks down from heaven. And then Romans 12, 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. And from Steve Green's song, Find Us Faithful. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. May the fire of our devotion light their way. 
May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe and the lives we live inspire them to obey. Oh, may all who find us come behind us, find us faithful.